Hello everyone, the purpose of this video is to learn how to use Microsoft Excel 2013 in plotting straight line graph out of data table uh, on how to evaluate the slope, the y-intercept, and the equation of the graph. I hope you'll find it educational. On the first column, we have to input the values of the x-axis, that is the independent variable. And on the second column, we'll input the values of the y-axis, which is the dependent variable. In our case here, we are going to plot a graph of circumference versus diameter. So we'll go ahead and input the diameter values, and we have to include the units in meter. So whenever you input the values, you'll just click on the cell, and then you can type the title of the column. You can adjust the width of the column by placing the cursor here on the border between two cells and then you can drag the border to the right or to the left to increase or decrease the width we'll title the b column here with the title of the y-axis which is circumference and we'll include the unit between parentheses and again we'll adjust the width here now we'll go ahead and input the values and I'll show you how to control the number of decimal places. You don't have to include it as you type. You can include it later. And now we'll include the values of the y-axis. Okay, so now we have all the data that we need to plot the graph. Uh, let's go ahead and center the values here. And again, that's just for cosmetic reasons to enhance the appearance of the table. So we'll highlight the two columns and then click the center tab. Uh, this will center everything highlighted, including the text. You can also adjust the font, let's say to 12 instead of 11. And you can adjust the text font as well. I will go with Times New Roman. All right, uh, so now to plot the graph, we'll go ahead and highlight the table. Then we'll click on the Insert tab on the top. You'll notice the window on the top will change. We need to go to Shards and click on this icon here, which is the Scatter Graph. When you click on the Scatter Graph, it will give you several options. We are going to select the first one here. This will give us the graph. Now we have a lot of work to do with that graph. We have to title the two axes. We have to title the graph itself. And we need to fit the points in a nice straight line. So for the title of the graph should consist of the title of the y-axis versus the title of the x-axis. The y-axis here is the circumference. So we can uh, click on the text box here. We'll leave the circumference as it is. We'll write versus and then diameter. Also the title of the graph should include a reference to what the graph represents. In our case here, it represents circumference versus diameter of a circle. So we'll add of a circle to the title of the graph. Okay, now for the X and the Y, we'll go ahead and uh, click on the plus sign here. And when you click on the plus sign, you'll get the chart elements window. We'll go ahead and check the box beside axis titles. When you place the cursor on the axis titles, you'll see actually that a text box will appear beside each of the axes. You can uh, type the title of each axis by clicking on the text box. So for example here for the x-axis we'll click on this text box on it until we get a solid line, solid text box line instead of dotted lines. And we can write the title on the top here. This is the diameter. And the same thing for the y-axis here. We'll click on it and we can write circumference. And don't forget to click enter. Okay, so the two axes are titled now. If you want to change the font here again, you can go to click on the home tab on the top. Uh, if you want to make it 12, you can go ahead and switch it from 10 to 12. Same thing here. Okay, so now we have the points and the titles. In order to make the graph looks better, we can add more grid lines. We can do that by clicking on the plus sign here. The chart elements window will be displayed. And we'll go down to the grid lines. You can see here, small arrow to the right will appear. Uh, click on it and we'll go ahead and check the boxes beside primary minor horizontal and primary minor vertical and just click anywhere. You can see here that our graph looks better with more uh, grid lines. Now the most important part 
of graphing straight lines is to evaluate the slope and to evaluate the y-intercept of the graph and then to find the equation of the graph. Uh, so now to evaluate the slope, we'll go ahead and click on a cell here under the table. We'll title it slope, click equal. Then we'll go to the cell next to it. So we'll click on the cell next to it. And now we'll go up to insert function. Basically, you'll be clicking on this tab, insert function. We'll click on it. And this will display the insert function window. Now on the insert function window, we need to select statistical here under category. So make sure you select uh, statistical. And then under function, we need to look for the slope. There are many functions here. So to look for the slope, just click on any one of them and then click on the S letter, SL, and this will take you to the slope. Or you can scroll down simply until you find the slope. And so this is the slope here. Whenever we get the slope under function, we'll click OK. We'll get this a new window titled the function argument. We click here beside known y so make sure the cursor is blinking here beside known y and now we are going to select the y axis value those are the circumference and numerical values make sure not to select a text or a blank cell this is important just select the numerical values here you can see here on the function argument window uh, the cells is from b2 to b8 uh, so the same way we selected here the y values we are going to select the x values uh, so again make sure to click beside non x so the cursor here will be blinking in the box beside non x and again you'll select the numerical values that represent the x axis which is the diameter in our case again make sure not to select a blank cell nor a text cell only numerical values okay so now we have the non x and the non y we can click ok and we'll get the value of the slope which came out to be 3.14 which is uh, what we expect since it's the pi value rounded off to two decimal places and then we'll do the same thing with the intercept we'll click on the cell under slope here and we'll type intercept equal and again we'll go to the cell next to it click on it this will enable us to evaluate the intercept value then we'll follow exactly the same procedure we did with the slope we'll go ahead and uh, click on insert function select statistical beside category and select intercept under function so again we can click anywhere and then input in in our keyboard this will take us to the intercept function or, or you can uh, scroll down uh, we'll click ok the function argument window will be displayed place the cursor beside non y select the numerical values of the y axis then click beside non x and select the numerical value of the x axis again make sure not to select a text box or a blank cell only the numerical values and then click OK. You can see here we got a very small value. This is 1.776 times 10 to the negative 15. This is basically zero. Now to round off all the values, all the numerical values to two decimal places, we'll go ahead and highlight all the numerical values here. Right click. When you right click, you'll see this window. We'll select format cells out of this window. The default selection here is number. Under category, also select number. And you can see the default number of decimal places is two. So we'll leave it as it is two. And we'll click OK. And this will round off everything to two decimal places. If you want to center all the values here, I think all of them are centered except the intercept. We'll go ahead and click on center. And this will center all the values. So now we have the slope, the y-intercept. Uh, the last step here is to fit the points in a straight line and evaluate the equation of the graph. To do that, we'll click on the graph. The plus sign here will show up. We'll click on it and this will display the chart elements menu. We'll scroll down to trend line and we'll click on the trend line box here. This will fit the points in a nice straight line. To display the equation of the graph, we'll click on the small arrow beside thread line and we'll select more options out of this menu. And now we'll get uh, the format trend line window here on the far right. The, our graph is linear, so this is the default. We'll scroll down until we see the display equation on chart option. We'll check the box beside that option and this will give us the equation of the graph. Now for the equation of the graph, we can uh, click on it and then uh, drag it here to the center. We'll go ahead and replace the Y with the actual title of the Y axis, which is circumference. So we'll go ahead and type circumference. 
We'll do the same thing with the x-axis. Replace it with its actual title, which is diameter. This is basically the equation of the graph. If you want to increase the font, you see the font here is very small. To increase it, click on the text box that contain the equation of the graph. And then click on the home tab on the top. Then you can go to the font and change it from nine, let's say to 11. And we can change the color if you want, just to contrast it from the title of the graph. And so we'll go ahead and select red, for example. So we have here the equation of the graph and we can also increase the proximity between the title and the equation so you can drag the title of the graph to the top in for the straight line i don't like dotted straight lines i prefer a solid line here so to change the line to a solid line click on the brush it will give you three options the first one is the dotted line and then the last two are solid lines the middle one has the title typed in uppercase letters, we don't need that, so we'll select the third option here, and you can see the straight line is a solid nice line. We are done, we have everything we set to do, we have the slope of the graph, we have the y-intercept, we have the equation of the graph, and we have the points fit in a nice straight line, the axes are titled properly and the title of the graph is correct and so the last step is to print the graph to print the graph we need to make sure we don't use more than one sheet and also we want to make sure to include the table and the graph in one graph paper we'll go ahead and highlight the table and the graph i will click on the page layout on the top here we'll click on orientation and we'll select landscape we can go ahead and click on file in the file menu we'll select print so we'll click on print and when you look at the sheet you have it should include the table the graph and on the bottom here it should display one of one so make sure it displays one of one on the bottom of the print menu here now to type your name on the graph, you can either type it on one of the cells, but an easy way to do it is to go to page setup in the print menu. So click on page setup. And now in the page setup menu, you'll click on the header footer tab. In the page setup menu, you'll select custom footer. And then you can either type your name on the left section or the right section. And make sure to include your section number and then click OK and click OK again. And you can see here the name will be displayed on the lower left corner of the page. And now you are ready to print your graph. Thanks for watching.